How's it going, Eliminators? Today, we're gonna to be doing an update video on my JLT 3.0 oil separator that we installed on my 2019 F-150. So let's get right into it. So Ford says that for the five liter engine, the break-in period is between zero and 3,000 kilometers here in Canada. And I'm almost at the 3,000 kilometer top of the break-in period now. I'm at about 2,300 kilometers. Now I've checked the oil level on my engine. That's just the dipstick there with the yellow ring on it. You pull that out, wipe it off, put it back into the engine. Now, when your engine's cold, the oil should be at the top circle. And when your engine's hot, the oil level should be around the halfway point. Now my oil level, as you guys can see, was around the bottom dot, both cold and hot. So I'm gonna come over here and check my JLT 3.0 oil separator. But the Ford manual here says that these engines should burn a little bit of oil in between the zero and 3000 kilometer break in period. And like I said, I'm not quite at the 3000 kilometers yet, but the engine is down a quart. So I know that it has burned some. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bottom of the JLT oil separator here. So because of that O-ring in there, it does make a tight seal and you guys are gonna wanna make sure you don't over tighten these because once this thing gets hot, it really gets in there tight. So we're just gonna go ahead and unthread this and we're gonna see that it is catching some of the stuff. So right there guys, that is what my engine would have burnt off had the JLT oil separator not caught it in the catch can here. Now this catch can holds three ounces. That's why it's called a JLT 3.0. And we can see that we're probably under one ounce right there. So I know that I'm down about a quart because on the old dipsticks, and even though this is a 2019 engine, the newer dipsticks added an extra quart in between the two dots on the dipstick. So if you look at the picture of my dipstick from the low oil mark to the high oil mark where those holes are punched into the dipstick, that's about one quart. And the newly designed dipstick has about a two quart limit in between those. So they basically made the dipstick longer. And then they've also updated the PCV valve here. So I'll give you guys the OEM number of the PCV valve, and that's the one with the straight through hole. And then the updated one is gonna be an EV281. And that one has a little cross section built into it. And supposedly replacing that PCV valve will solve your oil consumption issues. But again, I won't really know if my engine's burning oil until I surpass the 3000 kilometer braking period. So once this engine gets to around, I'm gonna say maybe uh, five or 6,000 kilometers, then I'll have a good understanding of whether or not my engine's consuming oil. So I have a glass jar here and I would like to track how much oil my oil separator or catch can is pulling out of my engine. So over the course of the lifetime of my engine, I'm going to be filling up this jar with all of the crud that I pull out of the catch can. And then I'm just gonna take a permanent marker and put a line next to that level. And then I'll be able to know just how much oil my oil separator has prevented my engine from burning over the course of my engine's lifetime. So you guys can see that the stuff poured in here, it looks fairly milky, and that's because it's basically water vapor mixed with oil vapor, and that's coming out of the crankcase of the engine. So as we can see here, it's not a whole lot, but that is about one ounce. Now my truck currently has about 2,300 kilometers on it and we installed this oil catch can at around 600 kilometers. So subtracting 600 from 2,300 gives you 1,700 kilometers. So that works out to about an ounce per, I'm gonna say 2,000 kilometers. Using a permanent marker, I just went ahead and put a little line with 1,700 kilometers there. And then like I said, as I collect the oil here, then I'll just be able to track how much oil my oil separator is pulling out of my engine. Now the oil I'm gonna be using here is a Castrol Edge and the weight is gonna be a 5W20 and it is fully synthetic. So coming over to the oil fill cap, that just goes into the top of the passenger side valve cover there. I have my funnel in and I've taken about 500 milliliters of my synthetic 5W20 and I've just put it into an empty oil can to make it easier to get into the small space over here. 
and I'm just going to add my oil and then we'll check the dipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my dipstick, wipe it off, put it back in, and then I'll bring you back. So now that the dipstick has been wiped off, we should get an accurate reading. And you guys can see, I'll try to get a shot of it so you get the reflection. We're at about three quarters of the way up. You don't wanna pass that fill line. I probably could put another maybe 100 or 200 mils in, but I think that's pretty good. So that's it for today's video. And I think that it did prove the point that oil separators, commonly referred to as oil catch cans, do work because you guys saw that it did pull out about an ounce of oil and it looks milky because that's actually oil that's been mixed with water vapor that's coming from the crankcase of the engine and you have to remember that if the oil separator that we installed wasn't there there would have been a tube directly from the pcv valve all the way into the intake manifold and that entire one ounce of oily residue would have been burned off by my engine coating the valves, the cylinder heads, the pistons, and gumming up the engine over time. I know that I saw some comments that said they really didn't work, and they in fact do. Now, even though the oil separator had about an ounce in it, we were down more than one ounce on my dipstick. It showed about three quarters of a quart that had been burned off. Now, I added about 500 milliliters of oil to start with, and then I added another 200 milliliters after, and it brought us right up to near the full line. Now, as for whether or not my five liter consumes oil or burns oil, I'll only know once my truck gets to around 5,000 kilometers. And having the jar with the markings on it allows me to track how much oil my oil separator is pulling from the PCV valve. And I'll also keep a small log book just to note how much oil my truck is burning. And even though I've owned this truck since September, the reason that it doesn't have too many kilometers on it is one, I work from home. And secondly, during the winter season, we generally use our old 2006 F-150 to do snow plowing and pickups and deliveries for snow blowers and equipment. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, think about leaving me a thumbs up, you know, it really helps. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week, so be sure to stop on by next week, check channel out for new content. And as always guys, Thanks for watching.